everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a school day, which meant I had the grandkids here today, so that was a busy day. I got a lot of steps and going back and forth, back and forth. And I also was trying to potty train Mr. Brown. Potty training was not good today. He only did it twice in the bucket, and he did a lot of times on the floor. In fact, just before I came out, I had to pick up three more that he did on the floor. He's he's a smart little thing, but not for the potty training. I'm going to share... I should probably even put it in now. Pretty soon. I will share a little video of you. He and I were playing some games today. And so you will get to see just how smart my little man is. So let's go to the video. I hung some things for Mr. Brown to come and peck out. Stop pecking on me. Come over here. I also hung some toys for him to play with, but he hasn't bothered with these yet. They kind of scare him, but he'll get to them eventually. Can you peck? He's curious, but he just hasn't done anything with them yet. I'm trying to give him things to entertain him. He just pulls on my bracelets. I should have something shiny there. And then he would probably play with it. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. I gotta leave. Mr. Brown likes to play a game. It's, I pick up the feather, oops. No, no. I pick up the feather, I put it back. He takes it out, he puts it down. I pick it up, put it back. He takes it out, and puts it down. I take it, put it back. It's a game that we play. He'll do this forever and a day. Oh, give me. Yep. No, no, give me. <laughs> He's faster than I am. There. I got it. He enjoys the plane. <laughs> You're silly. He's fast. down. I got it. Oops, it went in there upside down, but you don't care. Oops. Mr. Brown has learned a new game. He has to tap the red card to get a treat. Here, you want to red. Just a minute, I'm getting a treat. Where's the red card? Where's the red card? Let me put it where you can see him. Where's the red card? No, you can't have the treat until you show me the red card. Where's the red card? No, where's the red card? <laughs> he just keeps tapping and says, I know there's treats in that one. Where's the red card? Oops. Yep, that's it. Good job. Whoops. That one. You want more on that? Okay. Let's try and move it. This is not going to get another treat. Okay. 
I had a hard day the treats out in time for him. Okay, all right, all right, <laughs> hey. Where'd it go? It fell. <laughs> Where's trying? the red card? What are you trying to do? He says, I see. Oh. Where's the red card? Oh, right there. Yes, he's, he knows the red card. There you go. Have the little treat. Okay, you get under there. Show me the red. Where's the red? No, where's the red? Where's the red card? Where's the red card? No. I want you to show me a red card. No. Put it like that. Yes, that's the red card. You're being too tricky on me. There you go. He See, he's got it. He knows. All done. Okay, all done. All, all done. Isn't that amazing? He plays the feather game, and now he knows colors. <laughs> I have another test I'm going to do with him, another game I'm going to play. Actually, two games. I'm going to have him, I'm going to have two cards. One will be a red, and one will be a face card that is red, and he's to choose the face card only. So we'll see if he can do that. And I also want to use the ice tray where you have um, red on one square and a different color, probably a dark color, pipe black or something on, and have them both be circles and have one on another little, because there's 12 spots. So there'd be some of the spots would be red and some of the spots would be black. And under the red one have only those have a treat, so when he hits the red one, breaks the paper that will be on top, he can get his treat. But if he breaks the black one, he won't get a treat. And see how well he does with that. So those are two more games that we're going to try. But we're going to master the two that we're playing first before we move on to the next games, because I don't want to confuse him. I also want to congratulate Michelle and Rob from Real Life with Michelle and Rob. They are the proud grandparents of a new baby girl. And I also want to congratulate Pamela and her family um, from Ador Pamela's Adoring Crochet because they did a re gender reveal party and she's going to be the very proud grandmama of a little baby boy. I forgot what she calls herself. It's not Grandma. and it's, it's I don't remember. I'll have to listen to when she does her video again to what she says, and then I'll write it down. But I don't remember what she says. So congratulations to both of you. And I'd also like to thank all of you that participated in the question about motivation. That, there were a lot of interesting answers. A lot of them. And... The ones that seem to get people up and going without much thought as the ones that have children or have pets or have farm animals, you have to get up. The ones that are, that are a little bit more challenging to get up, and even I myself, if I didn't have the, the chickens or the dog, I felt this when I left my job. Now, when, you, when you're working, you are very valued. It feels like you're very important and people need you because you know a lot of things that they don't know. Now, like when I was working, I had I was the only one that knew how to change the laminator. So I trained three or four people to learn how to do the laminator. I was the one that did the breakfast and the lunches, and I was the one that gave out medicine and did the nebulizer treatments and the inhalers and I was the medically trained person, so I was the one that was doing that, and so they had to depend on someone else to be doing this thing, these things. So while I was there, I was needed, and when I retired, it felt like, gosh, they don't even miss me. Somebody else has given the medicines. I taught people how to do the laminator, so they don't need me for that. Somebody else is delivering the breakfasts and the lunch, and they're setting it up for them and doing family style. They really don't need me. And I used to rock different ones to sleep, and they, they've moved on to kindergarten, so they don't even need me. It was That was the hard part about leaving the job, 
is you you didn't feel like you were anybody would notice if you were gone and that's the same thing if you don't have pets or little children that are ex that wanting you to get up so that you can take care of their needs there are some of us that are empty nesters and some of us that don't have children or husbands or pets just ourselves and feel like nobody's missing us I feel that way sometimes but thank goodness Jake and the chickens and I guess Jim you need mm. me now and then <laughs> he he doesn't have breakfast but he gets up at 4 a.m. which I'm not getting up at 4 o'clock I do get up around when he's not home I get up more like 6 6 30 I will get up earlier but when he's home I will sleep a little later but like some of the others that mentioned too that they they get up because they don't want to waste their time off I feel that still I still feel that even though I have every day off I still feel like I can't sleep in because I'm wasting my day so I don't want to waste my day um let's see and now I we did a, a I don't know if you know this is a, a possibility but we did a group message video with messenger it was I guess if you have Facebook or um even my brother Joe has whatever he has. What's he got that that he can FaceTime with him? But it's it works with Messenger. He's got Duolingo. Du yeah, or, he's got that. No, it's that one. Duo. Duo something or other. Yeah. And it works. Messenger works with his because he doesn't have an Apple product, but it does work. Messenger works with that because they have Facebook. So as long as you have Facebook, you can do this messenger thing. And we did a messenger video. And the reason we did this messenger video is we have um, our cousin Linda had passed away. And in order to attend the funeral, which would have been California, we couldn't do. So we all were on this messenger at the same time, watching it at the same time. So we were kind of together, but not really. We were just in the screen together in our little oh. own little box <laughs> and we stayed in our home and that's how we did it so if you have to ha want to meet with family members and have a little visit that's a great way to do it and that's how well actually it was a zoom thing that my niece did to announce that she was getting married but she could have done it on messenger the only thing is zoom you could have more people and there was a lot mm. of my nieces and nephews were involved in that zoom Thing that they had chat, yeah, the zoom chat yeah well that is my video for today I hope you all had a great day and I will talk to you all again tomorrow so you take care bye bye